praise a higher family. He's the most high, holy and eternal, king of all kings, the only true wise and living God, the almighty. Well, hello again, family. I hope you're all happy, blessed and well. So coming on tonight with a bit of a prophetic word. So as you know, the remit for Hebrew Jasper Report is really to, I guess, report on world news global events from both Yashronite and biblical perspectives. But I've got tonight a bit of a prophetic word, really more to the wider culture. And the actual basis of this word is taken from 2 Samuel 2.30. So we're going to come on to look at this scripture in this particular video. However, before we actually get into that, as you know, we do have a protocol as part of our channel to really lead with the word of God. So we're going to open with an opening reading of Deuteronomy 6 verse 4. And that will be our usual protocol for opening of videos for this particular channel. So Deuteronomy 6 verse 4, as you're aware, is essentially an abridged version of the law. So uh, we'll just open with a quick reading of this briefly, just to honour Yahuwah in this word. So Deuteronomy 6, verses 4 to 7, reads, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words, which I command thee this day, shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. So it really explained, really, that... Yahuwah. In magnifying the law and making it honourable, we has enshrined this law of love, really, at the very core and heart of our gospel. There's a mandate on every Christian to ensure they're walking in this law of love. So Matthew 22, verse 39, then goes on to say that we are also required to love our neighbour as ourselves as well. So this core principle of love is at the core of our law and it's something that as Christians we do need to ensure that we cultivate and that we have it because really our internal life or is dependent on us actually having or walking in this law of love as Christians. So I've really put it at the actual forefront of, of all of our uh, recordings to make sure that's clear to everybody that it's part of our, a core part of our gospel. Okay, so that having been said, as I say, I have a bit of a prophetic word uh, today, and, and it's more a word to the wider culture. As I say, it's taken from 2 Samuel 2.30. So Yahuwah is saying here, For them that honour me, I will honour, and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. So if you recall, this was a word that Yahuwah spoke by the mouth of his prophet Samuel to Saul. If you recall, Saul was instructed by Yahuwah to actually go and to destroy the Amalekites. So we won't get too much into that here, really only just to say that it was Saul's disobedience in not having obeyed Yahuwah's instruction fully that led to Samuel then giving him this prophecy. As you recall, it was essentially the end of his reign over Israel. So to read the actual wider scripture, 1 Samuel 2, 30, he says, wherefore, the Lord God of Israel saith, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever. But now the Lord saith, be it far from me. For them that honour me, I will honour. And they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. So this really was a fearful word given to Saul. And from this point on, he was discontinued from his heritage, essentially as king of Israel. And if you recall, it was at that point that Samuel then went and anointed David to then be king, to replace Saul, if you recall. So this word was given 
by Yahuwah, by the mouth of his servant, or his prophet, Samuel, to Saul. As a result of Saul's disobedience in not having obeyed Yahuwah's instruction fully to destroy the Amalekites, if you recall. And we've looked in previous Sabbath sessions at the sin of the Amalekites, what it was that they did that grieved Yahuwah so, so, um, so seriously that he literally gave was a quite an unusual instruction for Yahuwah because he literally told um, he told Saul to literally go and slaughter them all, even their, their cattle, their sheep, everything, not to leave a single thing alive uh, within their within their borders. And of course, if you recall, Saul goes, but only obeys Yahuwah's instruction partially, and he saves the best of the sheep alive. It also saves Agag, the king of the Amalekites, alive also, and I believe also his queen. And some of the people also were also spared. So he, he didn't obey Yahuwah's instruction fully. And then, of course, we see the actual problem that the Amalekites subsequently were to Israel, firstly in Babylon, at the hands of Haman, and then subsequently also um, it, under, the, under the third beast system, under Alexander the Great um, as well. And that whole history really has given in the book of uh, First Maccabees. So then, as now, Yahuwah is very much saying, we are at a point very similar to this time of old, in which Yahuwah gave this word to Saul by the mouth of Samuel. And we can see really just some of the, the laws um, that are being passed and the sorts of things that are being countenanced, which are to in total violation, really, to the principles of God. And some of the policies that have been are really quite displeasing to Yahuwah as well. We can see how many, including many in authority, have very much made themselves despisers of God. And that is very, very clear. And we can see really just some of the, the laws um, that are being passed and the sorts of things that are, are being countenanced, which are to in total violation, really, to the principles of God. And you has, has really been speaking and has been attempting to intervene. But, you know, as, as the preacher said in Proverbs 1, they have really been not acknowledging any of Yahuwah's reproof and have been rejecting all of his counsel. So he's so Yahuwah has been entreating as, he, as in Proverbs 1, 23, he's been saying to them, turn you at my reproof, but he's called, as he's saying here in Proverbs 2, 24, because I've called and you refused, I've stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but you have said at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. So this is very much you who are speaking to those who are despisers of God. And is a word that he's uttering um, as he gave to Saul, really unseating Saul from his stewardship and kingship of Israel at that time. So unseating those from seats of authority who've been subjecting really the earth and peoples to some of the most unrighteous and dangerous policies. We're going to bring the earth under some serious judgment and the fury, um, well, under some serious judgment. But Yahweh has intervened. And I really would encourage people, people of God really to rise up, to take the sword of the spirit and put on the whole armor of God and re-enter public life because very, very much I think Christians really just seeing the whole um, way that, uh, that politics and um, things are done, uh, which is which is at times quite at variance to the way that, that Yahuwah remandates or says that things should be done. Uh, yeah, have really withdrawn many in many cases into the actual walls of the church, and this really isn't a solution either because the gospel of of, of Yahuwah is meant to be a gospel that is very much integral and reaches out into the world. We need to draw people out of the world and into the kingdom. 
into a place of safety, security, and rest. So this really is saying in a nutshell that God has rejected those who have made themselves despisers of God, who he has been really speaking to, to repent, but they have been rejecting his words and his counsel. God is not mocked. So he is very much saying, they that honour me, I will honour, but they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. That's all I'm going to say. So remember, family, you and I, we are the repairers of the breach. As per Isaiah 58, 12, hashtag, we will restore his paths. Until next time. Bye.